Hey folks, welcome to Ask Liebs. I'm Lieberman, and today we have an email from a Lieber friend. Hey Matt, I've been a longtime fan, and I've been trying to figure out how to put my situation into words for quite some time. It began with me dating this great guy. He was one of those one in a million guys. He was cute, funny, caring, and had only had eyes for me. However, it was his first relationship. Because of this, he didn't understand that I'd expect more than a friendship. Stuff such as going on dates together and not just sitting around all day with his friends. I wanted time with just me and him. The real problem was we were both too young and not mature enough for what we could have been. I proved this when we went to separate schools. I'd met this nice fellow when we got way too close way too fast I did some things I hate myself for and I lied to somebody who really loved me Eventually I left him for the new guy and again things moved way too quickly since then because of my new boyfriend I've been physically mentally and sexually abused as it turns out He was pretending to be somebody he wasn't to be with me and now that he's comfortable I'm seeing his true colors I feel like I can't leave him because on some level I feel like I deserve it for hurting someone close to me I just want to know what you think and if you don't think I should be with this guy I need to know how I can help myself and get Get out. Look, Lieber friend, no matter what you did to your first boyfriend or whatever mistakes you made, you do not deserve to be abused. No one deserves to be abused on a regular basis, okay? You shouldn't be punishing yourself for this by making your life worse. Instead, we should learn from our mistakes and not make them again. We learn most from our failures, not from our successes. Our successes only prove that we were right all along, but our failures show us how we can better treat other people or ourselves. If this guy is physically, mentally, and sexually abusing you, get the fuck out. I don't care what you did in the past. Everyone makes mistakes. I know that even on this channel, I've been quick to say, hey, this person's a cheater, you should dump them. If someone cheats on you, or you cheat on someone, that relationship should end. I do not believe that someone who cheats on someone once is destined to do it for the rest of their life. I think that there are people who see it as a mistake and learn from it, and there's people who see it as, I got away with something, I'm gonna get away with it again. I don't think you're that second kind of person. As for getting out of this bad relationship, a few things. If he has ever threatened you via text, save those fucking texts. Do not delete them. You need to go to the police, you need to get a restraining order against this motherfucker. If he has threatened you physically, you need to get out. If he has abused you sexually, you need to get out. I don't give a fuck what you did. You don't deserve it. No one does. This person that you're with deserves to be alone. And they deserve to be on the cop's radar. Because if he did it to you, he'll do it to someone else. Now, someone out there is thinking, wait a minute, Matt, you said that if someone cheats on someone, they aren't necessarily gonna cheat on someone else. I still think that that's true. But someone who is capable of abuse use regularly with someone. So stop beating yourself up, gather what evidence you can. If he sexually abuses you, do not shower, you go right to the police so there is DNA evidence on you, period. Tell your parents what's been going on. Do not let them say that that's normal or that's fine because it's not. It is not acceptable and you do not deserve it regardless of your past transgressions. You already know from this experience that you're not gonna do that again. And when you're in a relationship next time with someone who does treat you with respect and does love you, you, if they are not treating you the way that you want to be treated or there's something missing from your relationship, you should be talking about it instead of looking for something outside of your relationship. That's just common decency. I'm pretty sure you're already aware of it. Just saying for everyone else out there, okay? Guys, that's going to be the video for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought. I'm Matt Lieberman, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.